The following program is brought to you by Kevin Shorey Ministries and our family of friends. Happy Thanksgiving, Happy everybody! Happy Thanksgiving! We're just relaxing oh. here. What a great studio audience. Folks from Georgia. Here's folks Georgia. from Tennessee. Oh. Yes, Tennessee. Happy They've been married 44 Kevin. years. We just split up their marriage. Sorry That's about right. that. Yeah, but it's oh, all right. Man. He seems happy about that. But uh, <laughs> wait, wait a minute. We're going to make cranberry lemon pie. You're eating the, the ingredients. This is part of the pie? Yeah. Well, cranberry lemon pie. Yeah. I That's thought this was just cranberry sauce we eat, Kevin. No, what, what, what? No, no. That's Jay. a Thanksgiving transition. No, I want to make the pie. We want to go for it. Ready well, then to let's go start to the, the show. Spot? Yeah, we I'm have sorry. to start the show, but okay. we we got to say the magic word. Roll, Roll it. it. It's the Kevin Shorey Show. <laughs> Tape before a live studio audience in the Branson Mill in Branson, Missouri. Today, Kevin's special guest, Sheila Hart. Special music by Heaven's Heart Trio. And now, the man who taught Squanto how to cook Thanksgiving dinner, here's your host, Kevin Shorey. a great day to serve the Lord. What a great day. Thanksgiving. You know the game that's going to come on. You know who's going to win too. It's the Cowboys. I got all my Cowboy paraphernalia. I'll show you my socks in a second. But let's start with some music. Here's a great song from one of our favorite guests that come on the program regularly. All the way from Branson, Missouri. Here is Heaven's Heart Trio. Thank you. And because it's uh, Thanksgiving time, we are so blessed to be able to sing for the Lord and you know he blesses us in many ways and one of the ways he blesses us is to offer his mercy in all the times we need him I stood in the courtroom the judge turned my way It looks like you're guilty Now what do you say? I spoke up, Your Honor I have no defense But that's where Mercy walked in and pleaded my case, called to the stand, God saving grace, the blood was presented that covered my sin, forgiven. God saving 
Yeah. Thank you. Song of Mercy. Who's number one? Jesus. But second to that would be Dallas Cowboys. There you go. There's a, and I got my socks up here so you can see my socks. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that beautiful sock right there. Hold on. Let me put my shoe up there. Now you can see. Yeah, I get a good close up right there. Yeah, there it is. All right. And so uh, I, I like Dallas stuff. If you can see, I hope they're going to win. They're going to play the, uh, the Redskins. You know, that's a normal thing. You know, I got my hat. I got my, my snow cap, Dallas. I got my Dallas football. I like the watch, Kev. This is pretty yes, sharp. That was dude. a gift from, uh, from uh, uh, um, it says I voted. <laughs> I put that on there. <laughs> I, I don't know that I've even worn it. I just keep it as a, I don't know. Mitchell Palmer got that for me oh, for uh, a birthday nice. a few years ago. You're a big fan. I, a big fan, number one. <laughs> I, I am a fan. I've been a fan before they were winners, you know. I just, I just keep, you know, it's like uh, I just keep voting. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> until somebody wins that I, I actually wins that I vote for. And uh, same with the football teams. Anyway, so putting my shoe back on. Anyway, so but they're playing uh, the Redskins. You yes. got the Redskins. You, you got, oh, this is from your Dixie Fieldhouse. We have a shop here, oh, a sports shop right. in the corner Ooh. store studio. There's the Redskins pennant. There's the Cowboys. You know, I don't have this. How much is this? $5. Oh, it's done deal. <laughs> you want $5? Oh, I don't have my wallet. Okay, we'll get $5. You have but the Lions are playing, too, right? Though, oh, that's right. I, I forgot it's in the office. <laughs> it's a Cowboys I have a Dallas wallet. Cowboys wallet. It's crazy. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, oh. the, Lions. the Lions are playing too. Oh, and I look at your shirt. They're playing oh, the Vikings shirt today. Yeah, Jesus. which is the same logo. Wow. Jesus, says, Lion of Judah. Jesus, oh, that's Lion good. of Judah. Exactly. That's sure. who we want to promote, and that's why, uh, as you give, we it helps us to promote Jesus around the world. We're on live streaming around the world. We're on Uplift TV. Uplift TV. You're a week uh, delayed, so. It's already well, past Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving then, so. <laughs> yeah. I hope it was good. But you can be thankful every day, right? Yes. yes. But uh, those who are watching on CTN, they're about to probably eat lunch because it comes on at 1230, yeah. 130 cent, uh, Eastern time. Save me a bite. So those CTN, <laughs> yeah, make get go out to the store while it's still open. Make the cranberry lemon pie yes. we're about to make. Ooh, you're, yeah, you're about to get, see some good stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm ready, Kevin. But uh, we offer silver product, the new improved silver alkaline. But I don't know yeah. if anybody has the book. This is like the guidebook to all the things that it will help and the whole history of of that. So that's offered at $20. What we're doing is giving uh, gifts to those, just thank you gifts for those who help us stay on the air. For a gift of $20, we'll send you this if you ask for it. $20, we have the... This is great. The first person Bible, uh, that's the New Testament in first person. Jesus reading it to you. We'll send you that. We'll send you a second one for 10 more dollars. So for $30, you can get two of them. Or mix or and get, match. Yeah, or this one and the one for the kids. Yeah. It's all in the cartoon and the ah. anime. I know you don't want to show it. You have. He wants you to buy it so you that you won't. Hide the picture. Well, wait a minute. You don't buy stuff. But this is our thank yes. you gift that we want to send to you. Also, we have the uh, newest Bible, the family. Yes. Tell them about that, oh, Jay. Come well, on. I'm way over here, but. Yes. Ah. Yeah, it's heavy. It's heavy. This is, it's called the Family Prayer Bible. Mm -hmm. So you can be as a family. It's even got a picture on the front. But my favorite thing 365 is 365 lessons. Devotions. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's got 365 for 365 days. And at the bottom, you can put the date you did it. With the kids, yeah. yeah, the family. Oh, I fantastic. think that's. I, I and love there's that. pictures too. I'll show these, Kevin. Go ahead. Yeah, you'll show those pictures. <laughs> yeah. Let me show you this. One, yeah. We're going to show this later. The Woundies uh, commercial will uh, roll later. But uh, then there's the Neo Relief for your headache or arthritis pain. These we get testimonies. There's a lady here that was telling us how yes. silver or Neo, one of the products, help us. So we just have products to say awesome. help you. We believe in ladies. I believe women make the best wives. Amen. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> no, and that, so no, that, we yes. have we have product to help the ladies that still have that monthly. They call it a friend. It ain't no friend. Ooh. Believe me, into my house. No. But uh, it's called period relief, and it, for cramps or anything, you just put on the uh, your abdomen, and the ladies are testifying that it takes away the pain. And so the men are testifying these different too. Gifts. Yes, <laughs> the men are testifying. Yes, too. it's relief for you too. Woundies, man. and then until Christmas time, we're still going to do the generator. I heard that there's a possibility. This is a 360 watt generator. Yes. I shouldn't even say this. Don't even do it. I know. I shouldn't even bring it up because they're all gone, but we're going to get more if people yeah. want some more. I'm not supposed to say that. Don't okay. say it. Don't say I know. It. But it's all solar paneled. That's a solar panel. Yes. No gas, no fumes, no noises. It uses God's sun. That is it. The Father's son. That's there you go. Yes. Well, and of course, we're, we're doing a missions outreach for Christmas. All fruit and candy. We're going to bag it up. Fruit and candy going to Guatemala. We found out there are 300,000, 300,000. That's that's bigger than Hiawassee, Georgia, right? Yeah. <laughs> or or uh, Atoka, Tennessee. Yes. Okay, yes. 300,000 homeless people in Guatemala who've never eaten an apple 
or taste so of the banana. So for Christmas, we want to change that. As many as we can. Yes. So $25 or more, that will send a couple of, of gifts yeah. over to Guatemala and we'll take pictures and show you what we did at Christmas yeah. time. So we want to do that. Please help us with that. All right. But stay helping us. I'm so thankful. Thanksgiving is being thankful. I'm so grateful. I mean, it's not a huge number. There's not hundreds of family and friends. We've only been on the air eight to nine months. <laughs> Uh, yeah. One of those, what are we, eight months? Nine months, Something I guess we nine. give birth, I right? Think it's nine months. Boom. Yeah. We've been we're going just, through the labor pains. Now we're going to we give birth after nine in months. In Jesus' name, we'll there's, do it. There's yeah. 38, 39 of the family of friends, and uh, Justin will tell you how to become part of that Let's and why we do what we do. Kevin. What's that? Let's cook first. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah I'm just setting it up so we have it after. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait for this. Should pie. we cook now? Should we go run I over am there? I'm starving. I'm All thankful right. for pie. Because we want to get it in so that they have time to go get some of the ingredients and make it for Thanksgiving. If not, you can yes. make it for Christmas, but this is great. You will love, this is like, makes your hand do this. Ooh. It's just, you praise the Lord every time Amen. you take a bite. Well, let's go over to the cooking spot. All right, let's Kevin. go to the cooking spot. Cranberry lemon pie. Let's go. You ready, let's Chef go. Justine? Let's do it. Go. All right. We're in the cooking spot, right? Ready to cook this pie, Ready Kevin. to cook. This is happy Thanksgiving again to everybody. Yes. But, the, you know, this was a recipe that my mom, once she introduced it to the family, I don't know, 10 years ago, we had it every holiday season. Oh, so tradition. It's a, it's a tradition. Mm -hmm. uh, as I was um, just looking over the recipe and everything, I just was getting all teary-eyed oh. anyway. So this is a tribute to mom too on Thanksgiving <laughs> Day. And a great recipe. Everybody, everybody's going to love this. You're going to have to uh, make it for Thanksgiving. Uh, today it's probably too late today but it we did it at christmas too so do it because it's called a lemon yes. cranberry pie it's all about the cranberry Ooh. it's cranberry cranberry week you yes, know yes you wouldn't let me eat that earlier but no okay. but you know it's uh massachusetts mm -hmm. the whole cranberry thing there's a stomping ground <sighs> i love it all okay right, let's so. get to it okay we get a pie crust you pie just buy it uh, the wrap i had here it's, it's gone i yeah, don't know that's fine somebody threw it away <laughs> but you get you get two frozen things usually in the thing and uh, so we do take one mm -hmm. but you can make two yeah double just double everything we're about to do true so it's a nine inch you know big pastry shell okay and then you take a can of the cranberry, cranberry. stuff All you right. put that in there mm -hmm. that's right that's why i didn't want you to eat it all right, uh, and then you, no, well yeah then you put it in some uh, but by the way preheat your preheat your oven 325. 325. Get it ready. While you're doing yes. all this, you got all time. Right. 325. So you got the cranberry, put Ooh. a little cornstarch in it. Ooh. How much cornstarch? Two tablespoons. Oh, two, ta there two you tablespoons. Go. And it's then another couple tablespoons of light brown sugar. Oh, this right. was this was from my mom's cabinet. Organic light brown. Of course, she did everything organic. Thanks so you just oh yeah yeah. Then, now you put that on medium heat. Ooh. All right. Yeah, it's till it it's gets sizzling. about bubbling. Yeah, isn't it's it bubbling? There. Oh, it's you see, oh, you get the aroma of cranberry and. Yeah, wow. makes nice look up. So that's while that's uh, heating up and about to bubble, yeah. then you take a can of your sweetened. Oh, this is the riches right here. Ooh. This is what sets it over the top. Sweetened, sweetened condensed. condensed milk, Ooh. not evaporated milk. Sweetened condensed. <coughs> oh, I love it. So you Ooh. just you pour that in a separate bowl. So okay. I, you pour that in there, and then you take a half a cup of lemon juice. You can get the real lemon juice, you know, stuff. Okay, yeah. yeah put it in there. Oh, all right. In with the sweet much, Not too much. No, no, no. You yeah, just want to get, okay. Yeah. Half, half, half a cup. Okay. All right. Then you take three eggs. All right. Organic brown eggs. Get you good, mm -hmm. good fertilized eggs. Uh, take the yolk. You know how to make, get the yolk out of an egg? How? How? Well, you take the egg, you break it open. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Break it out. Here's one already broke open. Oh, there you go. You got the yolk. In there, you got, it's usually, oh. you know, you crack it open. Pass and you, it back and forth. Back and forth till you get oh. just the oh, yolk. Right. Yeah. Three yolks in there. That's no yolk. That's no. Ah. <laughs> and then you stir in the sweetened condensed okay, milk, yeah. the, the, the lemon juice, mm -hmm. the uh, three yolks. So that's the lime part. This is the cranberry That's part. right. When so that is bubbly, okay. when that is bubbly. It's getting there, Kevin. I think we're ready. It's yeah. bubbling. Then you pour it into the pie crust. Ooh. That's the first layer, all the cranberry. Oh. oh. Beautiful. Then Beautiful. you take the lemon substance, mm -hmm. right? Okay. And you put, what, sh where's my, I had a, a thing. Layer. What People keep for? moving my stuff. Here, <laughs> here it is. I did it. Huh. Spatula. Yeah, get that nice and smooth, oh, the cranberry. Yes. Then oh, you put the bubble. lemon. There's a bowl. There's a bowl. Get the lemon. Yeah. Then you take the, 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 yeah. the lemon stuff, right? Okay. And okay. then you put that on top. So now you've got a bottom layer of cranberry, top layer of oh, lemon. You can make a meringue kind of. if you want or some mm -hmm. whipped cream on top later. But all right, once that's there, and set it in the oven. 30 minutes later. Oh, 30 right. minutes. Well, you have you a know, lemon cranberry pie. We just happened to have the Kevin Shorey Show quick oven. Our quick oven. <coughs> this Done. beautiful thing, yeah. So I'm going to set that on there. Yours for 19.90. No, just yeah. kidding. And you said what? 3.25? 3.25. All right. We'll set <laughs> it there. All right. It's a genius. And by the power of the magic quick oven from the Kevin Shorey Show, 30 we minutes have later. 
Boom. Oh, oh there it the is. Goodness. Oh, goodness. It's steaming. Lemon. Look at lemon. that, Kevin. What you do is set it out for a few minutes and put it into your refrigerator. Let it just cool. Really Ooh, cool. Hot, Kevin. Then huh? cool it down. Yeah, and so, it's so hot. It's burning it my is. hands. Why am I holding it? Woo. Well, I'm trying to hold it so everybody can see it that is. wonderful. And if you take and just, do you have the spoon there? Oh, yeah, let's just take it. Wait, wait a minute. I had a pie thing. Yeah. There it is. Would you like oh, to? We should have thrown some whipped toppings. Would on you? That you can. Yeah, you can do yeah, that. Yeah, recommend that. Well, let's let's try oh. a little bit here, and then we'll hold it up. Oh, let me get some show everybody here. We just have a few seconds left. Oh, Are you ready? Go. All right, here it is. Oh, there, there it is. All right. Oh my goodness! Wonderful. Look at the layers. And you see that? Yeah, you see the cranberry oh, under there. Go ahead. Tell me what you think. So that good. That is fantastic, Kevin. Yep. What are we doing next? Because I'm going to eat this while we do. Are let's we going go to, to an a ad? commercial. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let me talk about partnership. All right, roll it. What an awesome year. You know, we've come so far, but we still have a long way to go to reach the world for Jesus. Thank you, family and friends, for your monthly support. And we ask that you join, and at $33 a month, you'll receive a new gift chosen by Kevin to bless you. This month, in time for Christmas, is Kevin's original Christmas CD, featuring songs that he's written and are requested every Christmas season such as Let's Put Christ Back Into Christmas and I Will Not Be Silent About That Silent Night. And as a bonus, another print from one of Juanita Harold's award-winning mosaics. This one is a limited numbered edition, Man's Hope, Jesus. If displayed and framed, it's sure to get a mention every time somebody visits this holiday season. And now, for a limited time, we're asking for those who will give a one-time leadership gift of $333. We're calling this our VIP family of friends. And to say thank you, we want you to come visit us here in Branson, where you will be showered with gifts, given two free nights at a nice Branson hotel, VIP studio seating, and dinner and a Branson show with Kevin. You can do this up to two times a year if you call ahead and make reservations. You can call us at 209-44-KEVIN or write us at PO Box 1122 Branson, Missouri, 65615. Or you can go to kevinshory.com and become a $33 a month family of friend partner or a VIP family of friend with your one-time gift of $333 today. Yeah. And we're back. Uh, I was just thinking, you know, if your Thanksgiving dinner wasn't so great, come on to Branson, I'll take you to dinner. That's what that VIP $333 one-time gift We'll take you to dinner, put you up for a couple nights, and uh, take you to a show, some of our favorite shows around town. Uh, but uh, you gotta, you gotta, you can't come in December, January, February now. So you know this is for next year. So we hope that you will do that, and uh, you'll sign up. And if not, it's 333 is a little high, 33 dollars a month. That's every a dollar for every year I've been in ministry, and uh, next May it'll be 34 years. Do I even look 34? I don't know. I know. You know, fat don't crack. So <laughs> anyway, we are honored to have our dear sister, pastor, evangelist, missionary evangelist, uh, just runs around the world promoting Jesus. Would you welcome Sheila Art back to the program? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. And you just celebrated, you said, 50 years? 50th anniversary yes. of November the 5th. Yes. I can't believe it. You know the old joke, you know, uh, I've been happily married 20 years. It's not bad out of 50. That's right. <laughs> and so, not that that's the truth. No, she well. said that's right. <laughs> He's not here to defend himself. No, but, uh, that's right. No, no. Uh, the last 20, we haven't had any kids at home. So, no. Ah, so. <laughs> we had five five children, you know. So yes. We had, uh, we had a lot of fun. We loved raising our kids. But we have enjoyed the, we've been in Branson now for almost 24 years. Wow. Wow. So uh, we have had a blast since we've been yes. here. Did you start back where your building is now? Did you? Is that where no, you've been? No, we started at Jim Stafford Theater. Oh yeah. We were the first church to ever do a theater ministry. Right on we the strip. Moved here, yeah, we moved here in '93, and God opened a door for us to be at Jim's the, uh, Theater. We mm -hmm. began December of that year. We had started the church in Jan uh, June. What, what month was that? July. With the intention of having an outreach ministry through the theater. Mm -hmm. And uh, God opened that door, and Stafford uh, just said, I'd love to have a worship yeah, service. She's Ten years. Yeah. We did that every Ten Sunday. Years. We had wow. over 8,000 people that came to the Lord's side. Wow. People healed, saved, delivered. That's it was great. an amazing outreach. Now, 
you know, Barbara Fairchild had done her gospel service, mm -hmm. but she was an individual doing this was a church outreach. So every Sunday morning, our church, I went there, a people the of our first. church. Wow. And we did, that was our outreach ministry to the world. Yeah. And we had people from all over the world saved through that ministry. It was incredible. That is a great ministry. And, you know, we, we just loved it. It was a God idea, uh -huh. and we really had no idea what he was doing. You yeah. know, he just get put it in our heart to do that. We've been, we have been this year in full-time ministry for over 46 years. Wow, that yeah. is great, <laughs> 46 so years. We, we thought we had a great idea. We did that for 10 years, and then things shifted. My husband had a heart attack, a lot of uh, physical attacks against his body, so we were no longer able to do that. So now we have an equipping center, and we train and equip the people for the work of the Lord. We, mm -hmm. You know, I said it's like raising kids again, kind of, because... I'm not about building my ministry anymore. This is what happened in Sunday Praise Together. When you reach people for, for Christ in a theater ministry, they come one time. They don't join your church. You can't count right. the numbers. Right. You can't say we got so many saved, so many right. baptized in our church. But we were seeing people saved from all over the world. And so that's the kingdom of God. He shifted us from building yes. a church to building a kingdom. Yes. And so we just want oh, to continue. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Now. You're tickling me yeah, now because you know you. I get started on the kingdom. Yeah. Because it is about the kingdom, not it a denomination, is. not just uh, no. a church building. Well, the church is a tool of God to, be, to build the kingdom of God. That's right. Ultimately, his intended purpose is always to build a kingdom. Yes. And he is sovereign ruler. You know, we talk about the election, we talk about yeah. who's in charge, but for us, we have a king. We don't just have a president. We have a we king. We have a king. You we, know? You're right. And in this kingdom, uh, that that may be a part of the kingdom, our president right. and all that Absolutely. part of the kingdom, right. but we don't rely on the president or any, any elected official no. to rule the kingdom or to, um, uh, what I'm trying to say, to build the kingdom. Right. Because right. they're not necessarily building the kingdom. They're trying to, you know, make America great again. Right. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> and, 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 but we're not to build walls. Right. We're supposed to tear down walls. We're supposed to lead people to Christ. Right. We're supposed to run. Because I think a lot of people prayed for their favorite candidate. And if it was right. Donald Trump, you know, they won. And so they, they got Donald on the well. Now our work is done. You know, no, we'll go no. back to our pews. No. Yeah, exactly. But we're not called to look back. We're not called to just sit down. No. We're supposed to, right? I'm, you got me preaching now. I want to touch on one thing. The work is I, just beginning yeah, is what right. I'm saying. It, uh, the election, uh, I was teaching. I teach in several little towns around the area in Bible studies. I was teaching on Tuesday in Mount Vernon, Missouri. And as we were talking and praying for our nation, uh, just like you said, we can't stop now. Our prayers are you know, important. But I said, when, as I was speaking, I said, you know, the biggest difference, the Holy Spirit just gave me this revelation. The biggest difference in this election and, and other elections, we weren't just praying, God, we got to have a Christian man. We got to have, you know, we had a prophetic word. Remember back 10 years ago, Kim Clement yes. prophesied we would have a Cyrus mm. that would be raised up and you're the second one that's told me that the pastor yeah. was here from New Beginnings. So and the same and thing. so, but and then it's interesting that Kim Clement has been silenced yeah. for a season. Yeah. But that word has run true. So we weren't praying for a man as much as we for, were for the prophetic word right. of God to be done in our nation. Yeah. Some may say, well, we, you know, I'm not sure he didn't. Yeah. You know, well, he's not the perfect man, but neither am I the perfect woman. Right. So we, you know, if we're going to measure ourselves by ourselves, then we don't. We measure ourselves <laughs> no. by the standard of God. You That's know? right. So we, Every time. we, we have a heart to believe that God has called him to be in this place for such a time as yeah. this. So we're, we as people of God, with the spirit of God upon us and in us, are praying that his, his spirit will supersede. What's the, uh, Proverbs 14, 1 say? The king's heart is in the Lord's hand so that he can, like a river of water, and he Ooh. can turn it, channel it wherever he wants. Yeah. Donald, Donald Trump will do things he has no idea what he's doing because God is channeling his heart. We are praying for him. Spirit of God is moving Amen. up on him and in him, and he will do. Be, and it's important that we continue to pray. In totally, that way. totally, yeah. and do the work yeah. of the king. That's right. Um, and I think God has given that window of hope, a window yes. of opportunity yes. that we should take advantage of Absolutely. Uh, under this current you know, administration. One of the words you've heard a lot in this election was the word angst. 
And one, one day I was uh, teaching. I, I get this a lot. I'm teaching that word just dropped into my spirit. Brenda Coe's here. So she can tell you. And I said, Brenda, look that up. And she said, okay. I said, no, now. <laughs> she looked up the word angst. And the dictionary's definition is this. It is uh, an anxiety that is coupled with hope. Oh, come on now. Now, yes. think about it. it. And it gives an example. It said, say there's a, a plane that lands, that crashes in the desert. The people survive, mm -hmm. but they're in the desert, and they think nobody knows where we are. Those who only have anxiety will sit there in fear and do nothing. Mm. But those who have angst have a hope that some, someone's going to find them. Preach it. And they begin to do things to keep, to survive yeah. and to help other people survive and to reach those that might find them. The angst in us drives us to that hope that God has given us. So yes. it may not look like, you know, we can, we're the same, we're in the same level, Come but on. we can either have anxiety or we can have that ancient anticipation mm -hmm. of what God is doing. Our Let's hope do is it. in him. Yes, and so yes. I thought, man, that is the perfect word for what God, that and so perfect. if you felt this dissatisfaction and this anxiety, it's not a bad thing mm -hmm. if you put your hope in Christ. That's it. Because we know for so assurance. So I got angst for angst. Christ. Yes, right. That's Isn't it. that a great I like, word? That is a great word. I mean, that's like my new favorite word, I think. Let's but pray. I got one minute. I want you to pray. I, I yeah. gave up my soapbox because I feel we're on our soapbox today. Yeah. Really on Thanksgiving, we're kind of laid back. Next Thanksgiving, I think we should just have couches and lay back and eat snacks. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, Will for the show. cook the turkey for my family? We'll then? do it. Yeah, yes, right. we'll do it. <laughs> No, you don't want me cooking the turkey. No. <laughs> but pray for some folks, man, that God will build up yeah. that angst in this next year as we yeah, see in that, 2017. That it's hope. a year where the kingdom goes forward. Yeah, amen. Come on, pray. Yeah, you know, the scripture says that we are Christ's hope. It says Christ in you is the hope of glory. Father, we thank you today that we are the people of God who stand in yes, your purpose. Lord. We stand in your promises, and we carry the hope of Christ in us that we might speak life and truth to those who have no hope. <laughs> we thank you that our hope is in Christ, and he is our only hope. And today, Lord, we thank you that you, we give thanks. We give you thanks for all that you've done and all that you're doing and the very hope of Christ within us that makes us have life and purpose. And we give you praise yes, in God. Jesus' name. In Jesus' Amen. name, Amen. Amen. I believe it. I believe it. We're out of time. we got to go, but we'll wow. be back. We'll that be back tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to play a, a great ministry program that we did uh, here. Just great testimonies. You'll look forward to this on your holiday Friday. Watch the program tomorrow. You won't want to miss it. And we'll be back. Remember, Jesus is the answer for your world today. Thank you. Promotional consideration provided by Meyer Hotels. The preceding program was brought to you by Kevin Shorey Ministries and our family of friends.